Hello everyone. This is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel Priyanka Site School. Today I'm going to start with again Selenium series. Let me start with very first introduction about Selenium. What exactly Selenium tool it is? Guys, Selenium is very popular automation tool. Basically, it is an open source tool and it is a browser based test automation tool. So whenever any tool is a browser based, that means first step, you need to start your browser and within a browser, you can simply launch that application and the same web application you are able to automate with the help of Selenium tool. So Selenium is one of the very popular functional testing tool. It is actually developed as a API with the help of this tool. We are able to automate any web application, any mobile application. So. Selenium in the form of API means there are many components available for Selenium. The very popular component in this market that Selenium web driver. Actually, it is implemented as a API. Okay, Selenium, one of the interface, one of the library through which we are able to test any web application. So Selenium is very popular because Selenium support multiple programming language. Selenium support multiple browsers and operating system. That's nothing but platform. So it is one of the very popular cross platform testing tool, cross browser testing tool, right? We are able to automate our test cases sequentially also, and we are able to execute those test cases in the parallel way also, right? So Selenium is a functional testing tool. We are able to test functionality. We are able to test smoke scenarios, regression testing, and end-to-end -end scenarios also with the help of Selenium tool. So it is one of the very popular tool. How many components are available in the market? Guys, there are three active components available for Selenium. But originally, Selenium comprises with four components. Selenium ID, Selenium RC, RC which is deprecated now, Selenium Web Driver, and the last component it is Selenium Grid. So there are three different active components available in the market. That is ID, Web Driver, and Grid. But let's have an understand, okay? Let's understand like what exactly id it is web driver it is and the grid it is guys very first you know in the earliest like selenium id introduced in selenium or let's say in 2004 okay at that time what exactly i mean id it is it's an integrated development environment it's like a editor where you are able to prepare your automation script id was the first component id support record and playback mechanism so few key points you need to remember what Selenium ID it was. And uh, yes, it is still available in the market, but in real time, we don't follow Selenium ID. So it is a tool, it is a component through which we are able to record Selenium script and we are able to execute it also. So it's simply based on record and playback mechanism. So ID, with the help of Selenium ID, you are able to generate your automation script in a very faster way. But the point is, ID support only commands. So whenever you want to prepare a, any particular automation script, you need to record it with the help of certain commands. And then you can convert your entire test in particular programming language. At Selenium support multiple programming language, base language for Selenium is a Java. Java script it is implemented because. So originally Selenium was introduced as a Java script functional testing tool. But now we simply call it as Selenium 2, right? Because of the competition purpose. Jason Huggins and his team in ThoughtWork, they introduced this tool, Selenium 2. So Selenium ID, it is an integrated development environment. Okay, in real time, we don't follow it because it only performs basic functional testing. With the help of Selenium ID, you'll be not able to test any database. You'll be not able to test any data-driven testing. Again, reporting mechanisms are not available. So you can convert your Selenium ID command, okay, ID command based script in the form of web driver script, but there is no conversion again possible from web driver to ID. So ID we don't follow in real time, okay, but still it is available in the market. So Selenium ID is just like an editor where you are able to prepare your Selenium script. So ID we don't follow because it only helps you to perform a basic automation testing. Even it is also referred as prototyping test, right? So we are able to just cover the basic scenario using Selenium ID. So we don't follow Selenium ID in the real time. Then, you know, there was some limitation in Selenium ID. 
initially selenium ide only support one browser that's a firefox browser it only support the basic programming language that's html but after selenium ide they introduce one more component in the market selenium rc rc stand for remote control okay rc they have implemented as a server it's like a proxy server so whenever you prepare your automation script the advantages of selenium rc as rc are what like selenium rc support multiple programming language multiple browser but the architecture of selenium rc was too complex and that's the reason they deprecated selenium rc from the community so guys just understand the basic like what was the architecture why they have deprecated this component from the market so initially whenever you prepare your automation script by any programming language as it support multiple programming language so either you can write your script in java ruby python c sharp right in any language script will pass to the server initially once the server gets certain commands initially you know immediately server will simply inject when java script engine okay java script engine which is nothing but selenium core at a browser side and then browser as per the security browser have to follow same origin policy as per the policy whatever script is available in their java script engine browser will simply you know convert that script in the form of ui and same it will automate your application right so initially once you pass a command once you pass your request to the server selenium rc server rc will inject one selenium core at a browser side and then on that browser you are able to automate your application so previously like this entire architecture your browser your rc server and your script it should be available on your local machine so there was a problem with this architecture like the complexity everything should be simply execute through the local a machine local environment and that's the reason guys you know selenium rc they deprecated from this entire community but whatever the features was there in rc everything they have included in selenium web driver so rc support multiple programming language rc support multiple browsers and all the features are available in selenium web driver selenium web driver is a latest component which is available in the market it is actually implemented as a api okay so application programming interface through which you are able to test and you are able to communicate with the web application so web driver is one of the web interface okay with the help of this api we are able to test web ui automation script so guys in selenium web driver again how exactly communication happen so you have to use a client library that is a first component client library is nothing but you know all the language binding as selenium support multiple programming language so whatever script you will prepare whatever language it is first you have to download that language binding and that is called client library so you are able to prepare your script script will directly pass without any rc server okay to the browser so every browser okay they have their respective driver file so basically firefox driver ie driver chrome driver these are what these are the drivers okay driver as per the specific browser so request will goes to the driver and through the driver it will goes to the real browser again as per the same origin policy you cannot directly you know pass your instructions or request to the real just for a security reason browser has to follow that policy right so here through the driver file we are able to communicate with the browser and then guys we are able to automate our web application so in selenium web driver it's a very popular or we can say latest component available in the market through which we are able to test web ui automation script in selenium web driver again it support multiple programming language multiple browsers multiple platform and it also support multiple frameworks with the help of this again you are able to automate your applications so we will see selenium web driver in depth but now this is just for introduction what exactly web driver it is so web driver is one of the interface web driver is one of the api through which you are able to test web applications now guys again through the web driver you are able to test sequentially your test plus parallelly also it is possible 
parallelly on multiple browser it is possible but whenever you want to test your application on multiple platform parallelly it will be not directly possible through the web driver for that we need a grid what is selenium grid grid is one of the distributed environment guys so whenever you want to test your application in distributed environment let's say in distributed platform remotely if you want to run your applications it is possible through the selenium grid so grid is again a latest component available in the market but the purpose of grid is what when whenever you want to test your application on different platform different architecture we can simple follow grid so again there are lot of you know the scenarios available like previously we simply perform selenium grid it's like a manual setup right tester is surrounded with many machines and you know like we prepare automation script we pass it to the server the server is nothing but the hub and then that server will pass that request to specific node node is nothing but your actual machine physical machine then then after that we use a virtual machine concept right so through vmware also you are able to do the same setup but on one single machine and then through that machine you are able to test the application on different platform nowadays we simple use a cloud concept so how exactly we are using the cloud and how exactly we are able to execute your selenium grid right we will see in the future classes so the point is selenium grid is one of the component of selenium which will help you to test the application on different different or we say we can say that distributed environment so whenever you want to test your application on multiple machines parallelly sequentially it is possible through the selenium grid remotely if you want to run something right it is possible with the help of selenium grid so selenium is a free tool selenium is a open source tool source code is available freely right and that's the reason this is very popular tool available in the market so latest architecture selenium web driver which is very popular because through the web driver you will understand how to prepare automation script and how to automate any web application so just remember there are three active components available in the market selenium id selenium web driver selenium grid selenium id we don't follow in real time as it not support many scenarios or it is only support to perform basic functional testing but we use selenium web driver for automation purpose it's a playback mechanism tool okay so you are able to prepare your script using java programming language as i'm covering here java language right so you are able to write your script in java and the same script we are able to pass to the driver and then you are able to automate that application and the third component that is selenium grid which will help you to test the application in a distributed environment so this is all about the basic introduction about selenium 2 so selenium is very popular and it's a functional automation testing tool which is specifically designed for web application but using selenium you can test web application mobile applications as well as desktop application but only partial features we are able to test this is all about selenium tool guys so thank you for watching stay tuned do like and subscribe my channel